Hi everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet a very easy Christmas stocking. So let's get started. You can slow down the videos by clicking the gear icon below the video. I'm going to work with a 9mm crochet hook and two strands of worsted weight yarn. And I'm going to start at the toe. And I'm going to chain five. One, two, three, four. Five. slip stitch to join and form a ring. Now there's the ring and you carry this yarn in along the outside of the ring and you'll be able to close the hole when you're finished. So chain two, make ten double crochet in the ring. So ten double crochet in the ring. Okay I made ten double crochet in the ring, slip stitch to join in the top of the first double crochet and now you can pull that yarn end and close up the end of the toe. Now I'm going to chain one and turn. Single crochet in the same stitch as the chain one. Now make two single crochet in each stitch around. So one, two, one, two. So two single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, I worked all the way around. I'm going to make one more single crochet in that same stitch as the chain one. And I'm going to slip stitch to join in the top of the first single crochet. And I'm going to chain one and turn. And I'm going to make one single crochet in each stitch around. So one single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, I worked all the way around. I'm going to slip stitch to join and I'm going to fasten off this color. And I'm going to join another color in that same stitch as I fastened off. So I'm going to pull in my new yarn, take one stitch just to lock that in with both the yarn end and the working yarn. And I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to make one single crochet in each stitch around. Okay, so one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around. The end of the row, slip stitch to join. And now every row is going to be the same. It's going to be chain one and turn, single crochet in each stitch around. And you're going to continue to do that until the foot is as large as you would like it to be. So I'm going to go off camera and do that, and I'll come back and show you how to do the heel. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've worked as many rows as I want. You can make the section of your foot as long as you would like. Now here's my last stitch where I slip stitch to join, and I'm going to use the same color as the toe to make the heel. Take one stitch with both yarns, and I'm going to single crochet in the next nine stitches. Like that. Now I'm going to chain one and turn, single crochet in each stitch across. So that's the beginning of the heel. So chain one and turn single crochet in each stitch across the row and I'm going to do that for about six rows. Okay so I've gone ahead I've only done five rows but I think that's enough. Okay so there's the heel now I'm just going to slip stitch this heel closed. You could do this with a darning needle if you like. Okay so that's how that looks now. Now I'm going to go back to the other side where I left this color yarn. I'm going to bring my yarn back through and I'm going to chain one and I'm going to single crochet all the way around the opening. So single crochet all the way around. Okay, I single crocheted all the way around the opening and I'm going to slip stitch to join and I'm going to chain one and turn and I'm going to single crochet in each stitch all the way around.
all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around, and so now I'm just going to continue to chain one and turn, single crochet in each stitch around until the leg is as long as I would like it to be. Okay, I worked a total of 15 rows for the leg, and now I'm going to attach the main color again, and I'm just going to make a band at the top. It's still chain one and turn, single crochet in each stitch around. So I'm going to go ahead and do the band, and I'll come back and show you what I did. Okay, I've gone ahead and I finished my stocking. And so I did one row of this contrasting color, I did one row of the same main color, and then I did an additional three rows to finish off the top of the band. And now I'm going to do a loop for hanging, so I'm going to slip stitch back three or four stitches so that I'm right at the back of the stocking. Okay, so I'm just going to slip stitch about three or four stitches. I'll do it here. So now I'm right at the back of the stocking and I'm going to chain 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then I'm going to come right back down to the same stitch and I'm going to slip stitch to join in there and I'll fasten off and I'll have a loop for hanging the stocking. And now I've chained a cord of 38 stitches. The exact number is not important. And then I cut four strands of yarn, approximately six inches long, and I'm going to fold those in half and pull those through the last stitch of my cord. So pull that loop through and then pull the ends through the loop. Trim them all to the same length. And there's what that looks like. Then I'm just going to bring my stocking over and I'm just going to come up here at the top of the stocking and I'm going to pass it through a stitch there. And that's just as a decoration. And there you go. A very easy Christmas stocking to crochet. And if you want to make your stockings larger, you're going to simply start out at the bottom with more double crochet. So I start with 10. If you wanted a wider stocking, start with 12 and then increase to 24. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.